All right, we're gonna go ahead and give you a tour of the property. We've got a beautiful, beautiful Tudor style elevation on the front with the paver driveway and walking path into the property. Uh, it does go around to uh, just a roundabout at the end and come back this way. So you're not gonna have a lot of passerby traffic. Got a beautiful waterfall across the way here. Nice serene sound, very quiet and private back here. And I'll show you the side yard. So you can do the six foot wrought iron fencing and any foliage you'd like to add. Now, a property line you can see is gonna be right here. So you could enclose this. The backyard is fenced in, a lot of fencing uh, with mature landscaping back there. And then you've got the waterway on the backside. It's a James Clyde home. James Clyde is definitely one of the premier builders in the valley. Exceptional attention to detail and very insulated value from a perspective of resale for the James Clyde builds. It also usually includes a secret room, which this house also has, which is really cool. So I'm a big fan of his build jobs. As you come in, see the sitting room area here, the coffered ceilings, great attention to detail and craftsmanship, got the wainscoting, the wood flooring throughout, so no separation there. Off to the right, we'll have our first two rooms. Crown molding, kind of a semi matte finish on the paint. Large doors for the closet spaces. Trimmed out header board on the closets. Hardwood floor throughout here as well. There's your setback to the property line. Good sized lot. Arched entryway to tall doors, eight foot doors. Tile flooring in the spare bath. Granite countertop. Nice soaker tub or standard tub. Tile three quarters the way up. You can see standard box cabinets. There's the second bedroom. Similar setup. A little bit more windows. Good size rooms. And as you come in, you've got a main entry hallway with a coat closet area here. And then on the other side, you've got your uh, refrigerator that's countersinked in the same depth. Beautiful living room area, stack stone fireplace with a small hearth and a mantle with gorgeous wood built-ins. The crown molding, the headers around the windows. Good balance of natural light. And that hardwood throughout still. Very spacious living area. Plenty of room uh, for kind of a ton of different styles, furniture layouts that we were kind of struggling with on some of the other properties. 
good size island here with cabinets underneath for storage. There's your relatively flush mounted refrigerator. Custom cabinet work throughout. Good amount of counter space depth displaying their spice racks. Lazy Susan. Uh, hot water. Again, James Cloud is very well known for high-end quality finish work. And of course, at this price point, we would expect that. But his cabinet boxes are fairly standard, not soft clothes in this one. Single basin stainless steel sink. And Viking appliances, very high end. There's your fancy double door oven. Double oven down below. And you've got a nice built-in cabinet set in the back here. Gorgeous for display. Or if you have some drinks set up. Nice dining area as well. It's kind of set apart. You could probably fit a nice grand looking table in here. This one looks a little small. And then the back patio here. is epoxied. Got your fan. Built in barbecue. And you've got the waterfall in the back to just absolutely eliminate any road noise. There's the Memphis grill. Most of the patio is covered. This space is open here around the fire pit. Take you. I'll show you the backyard a little bit more after we finish the interior, but mostly grass and landscaped in the back. And there's a paddle board, paddle boat access um, waterway back there. Although this fencing doesn't show access to that water directly. Show you the pantry area and you guys were curious about that it's good size it's not huge but definitely significant and then over here it's gonna be the garage you got a little mud bench some cabinets over the laundry area tiled and sink Holding area it leads out to the garage. It's like a three plus garage, all finished, painted, and epoxied. Beautiful setup. The central vac setup, and then all your systems are enclosed. But you've got a almost like a double wide third bay here plus access to the backyard and the gardening beds back here and then i'm assuming got our systems in here yep so everything looks really clean and uh, June of 2020 on the HVAC and looks like 2011 on the water heater so we'll head out got some natural light coming through 
some clean lights to show, plus a Viking fridge here. Then I'll go ahead, take us on into the master bedroom. You've got the stairs to the left, nice entryway mirror, and nice mood lighting in the ceiling, the tray ceiling there. The fan, good depth um, with the added fireplace. I don't believe that would stay, but we can negotiate that if that's something you guys really like. Nice shades. And then this takes you on into the master bath. Pretty open, spacious feel. Dual vanity. Large mirror, soaker. Round soaker with some stairs into it. And then we've got a uh, shower here. Dual shower heads. Pocket bath here with more storage. And then you've got a built-in mirror for the master closet. And a his side and a hers. And then this storage wraps around under the stairs slightly. And there's some of your crawl space access, one of them. And as we head out from the main bedroom, we'll go on upstairs. It's a straight shot, which is nice. And then this is where James Clyde always has some board and batten and the, one of the hidden rooms here, which is really cool. This is a huge bonus room, very quiet and insulated. And good sized room that looks over the front of the property here. So you've got waterways in the front and the back of the property. And this could be definitely a duals, dual use room. You've got plenty of space. It's almost like two bedrooms. Plus, a little storage, one of the baths, one of the three baths, three-quarter tile. Another bedroom here. Again, very spacious rooms. Little linens closet, central vac stub. And the other bonus room is here. So this could be you know, your movie room or mixed use again, depending on what you wanted it to function as, or a huge bedroom. And then you've got a little reading pocket or sitting pocket here as well. So hopefully that Gives you guys a good idea of what the property looks like. It's absolutely stunning. Looks like exceptional craftsmanship in contrast to what we've been looking at. Similar to the one that we saw in Two Rivers that was very grand. This one's maybe scaled down a touch, but similar fit and finish. And then I'll walk the exterior of the property with you guys. All ceilings in there. And we'll get a feel for the exterior as well. Throw this key back into place. Nice little patio seating area. Looking out over the property. around the back and then on Google Maps you can kind of tour the neighborhood get an idea of the fit and finish for 
the other properties that are absolutely stunning in here. So, good size lot. A lot of money spent on curbing and landscaping and these stone stack garden beds. Got blackberry bushes in the back here. And if we look out past here, you can kind of see the waterway. Other people have little beaches and private walks down. And here's the back of the home. Got power hookup adjacent to the back fence. Here, beautiful little waterfall and lights. A garden hose set up there, hooked up to pressurized irrigation. And then here's the other side of the property. Again, consistent curbing, very clean, presentable landscaping, well manicured throughout. And there you have it. Let me know what you guys think. I think, uh, like I mentioned, some of the comps in this area really help preserve the value in here. And James Clyde is an exceptional grade builder. So hopefully this helps. Talk to you guys soon.